Hi, welcome back to Two Cells Unpack. Super short video for you today. We're going to show you how to put your bigode wheel, uh, any wheel after the extreme or the power button and lift button at the bottom of the wheel. Uh, we're going to show you how to put them into firmware recovery mode if you ever try to update your firmware and it fails. So let's go. So if you had tried to do a firmware update and your wheel is not accepting it or your wheel um, it won't balance because of it because it wasn't a successful one and you're not in the scenario where it won't turn off. So if your wheel won't turn off, then you need to open up the top cover and you need to disconnect the control board from the batteries and then plug them back in to reset this procedure. Okay. However, if your wheel turns on and off properly, but won't balance or won't take the firmware properly, this is what you'll do to reset it. So the left button is your power button and the right button is a lift button. So what you want to do is to hold down the lift button. And while you have that held down, you want to hold down the power button. Now you're going to hold down this combination for about five seconds. And that's when you hear, you'll hear the long beeps. That's when I want. 1002. I was holding it way before you started counting. <laughs> Once you start hearing the beeps, you can navigate to your Bigode app. Oh. <laughs> and you'll see, you should see the Bluetooth of the wheel show up. Now I've connected this wheel previously, so it automatically connected. And you go to settings, firmware upgrade, Falcon and click the one you want to update. Now you're going to hit go and it'll start the process. Hmm? All right, so once you flash the firmware into the wheel, it'll show 100%. Now, if I turn this wheel around, you'll also see that the screen is off. So the wheel was turned off after the firmware update was successful. And now you can go back and turn it on. And there you go. It's balancing. And now what we're going to do is we can go in the app. And if you go to the, make sure we're connected here. Connect. And make sure to look here, you'll see whether or not the firmware was successfully installed. So just like that, quick and easy, if you ever get stuck, do not get frustrated. The only thing I forgot to mention is if you are using an iOS phone to do firmware updates, uh, it's not that reliable. So if you can borrow a friend's Android phone or if you have a spare Android phone, it's always good to have one. So if you have any questions or concerns, comment below. You can like, subscribe, and ding dong ding dong. And I'll see you in the next video.